Well, hello and welcome back to Physics Games. Today I am going to show you how to get to your save games, get a backup of your save game in case there's any problems and you want to reinstate it at a later time, as in roll back time, and then also how to actually do that and to do that correctly because people make mistakes and it causes them plenty of trouble. So on my channel at the moment, I'm doing several things, but we have the Feral Scent series and I want to record another episode today. So I'm going to show you how I back up that game in case something happens. And of course, being a parent of children, if there is a problem and suddenly I hear screaming and daddy help, I have to rush away even if I was in the middle of a battle. So I may need to come back to the game and just start the whole thing again. Thankfully that's rare, but I have to be prepared for it. With my POI series, I have to shoot down trees, get rid of stuff so it looks good on screen. And now and again, I need to just reset the whole of the physics playground and that's the file that we're going to use today so I can show you how to do that correctly. So let's get onto the desktop and start the process. So here's my desktop and on there I have a folder which is called A20 POI YouTube. That is the physics playground and the save game within the physics playground where I go through the POIs. First though, we're going to open up the save game location. You can either hit the start button or the search button. And when you do, you would like to type in percentage APP for app, DATA for data percentage. And when you do that, you hit enter and up comes your roaming directory. Within that is a seven days to die folder. You go into there and you see many different folders. I'll quickly tell you what they all are. The generated worlds are each world that you generate when you generate a map. So the game can pull them out whenever you start a new game with that map. We also have local prefabs. You have this if you've been messing about with the POIs as in trying to create your own. Uh, we have our saves directory. That's the one that we actually want right now. And also our saves locals. and these look a little bit odd. These are the maps that download when you join a server. So for example, last night I was playing on the wonderful Kraken's 5k special evening on his server and this is the map that was downloaded. So if I wanted to, as I could actually get in there and actually play it independently at home if I wished. But saves is where it is. And I know that in one of these directories, in one of these generated little valleys or countries or territories or valleys is my Feral Sense game. Is it in here? No, it's not. But if you would like to subscribe, that would be fantastic because it all helps. We're up to 162. Let's see if we can one day have a bigger number than that. In West Seb territory there it is feral sense we're going to right click on this and we are going to copy this file that's in windows 11 in windows 10 it would look like this and you would copy it i'm going to go to my desktop right click and then hit paste again that's what it looks like in windows 11 and in windows 10 you would hit paste and up comes the file there it is on the left screen let me bring it to the right hand side of the screen so there we go i've backed up my feral sense and i am ready to play the game and if any problems occur I can get back to the end of the day that I'm currently at. Now the A20 POI YouTube is the physics playground and that is, if I go back to my saves directory, that is from a map just called A20 POIs and in there you can see I have four different games running under that one map that I created. I have of course the one we're going to change now, the YouTube, that is where I record the videos. I have a testing one for messing about. I have another one just completely separately for making thumbnails and messing around in that. And also when I do the day one cheese, I go into the newbie version of the game. Now, what people would think you'd do, and this is what the mistake people make, they take their folder and they drag it across and they let go and they copy the entire directory. And it says, do you want to replace these files? You say yes, and it replaces all your files. But there are loads of extra files that you've created when you've bashed the wall down or blown something up and they will still be there even though you've rolled back your game. So what you must do is click on the game you wish to replace and hit the delete key making it completely disappear. It's gone and what we're then going to do is copy this version our backup and we are going to paste it back in here and now it's properly rolled back with no rogue files. This is exactly what I backed up when I first created the physics playground. 
and there we have it we're done we just end up booting up seven days to die and when we do we can open up the game as per normal and it is going to just bring us back to what we originally wanted so thank you so much for joining me today i hope this has helped please hit that like button hit subscribe and certainly make a comment if you have any questions that i could help you with and i will see you later bye bye